Hello YouTubers, welcome to my NASDAQ channel. Today's video is going to talk about the next cloud installation with SSL certificate. In my previous video, as you can see from my screen, I have a couple of videos on the post about the installing the NAS Cloud, but none of them has been used with SSL certificate. Uh, this video is going to show you almost exactly the same steps, but just added SSL certificate part using a Docker technology as well. No more talking, let's start it. I already start an instance in AWS, which is running on a T3.micro instance type, one gig RAM, one CPU, and um, 10 gig uh, hard drive. It's a very basic one. Um, I got a public IP, so which I ha already have a connection, built it to it as a such connection. Um, so first thing, of course, we need to do update. So I already have all commands in my post. I will list in the video description. Here, I mostly I will just do copy paste those commands in, or and the configuration in into this instance. This instance is Ubuntu 18.04 version. The so next step is going to install Docker. Enable the service and then make sure it started uh, when your system rebooted. After Docker has been installed, then the Docker Compose has to be installed as well. I'm going to paste the command. You'll find it from my post. Make it uh, executable. Also check the doc compose version. After install the Docker and the Docker compose, we're gonna start into preparing some folder and files, especially Docker compose file. So we're gonna make a um, nginx folder conf.d folder that's gonna be for nginx configuration file and then we're gonna create in nginx next cloud file so all configuration file can be found from my blog post you can just copy paste in as I did here so this is nginx next cloud configuration file No need to change anything, just copy paste in and it will be good enough. Eventually this folder is going to mount into Nginx uh, Docker. After Nginx file created, and uh, we are going to create in Docker Composer file. Same thing, we are going to copy our configurations in. So there are two options here. One. Conf Docker compose file has using database, one without database. So in this video, I'm going to try to make it simple 
we are not going to use in database docker we are going to just use in proxy docker and in that proxy docker there's a third board using net encrypt certificate and the like, basic configuration you need to change is the email you can keep using thing or using your own the most important is fqd and name next cloud.51sec.org is the one I'm using. You may want to change this one. Other than that, you can keep exactly the same. Only change this line, FQDN9, to your own FQDN settings. Save the configuration. Those two files have been configured. Um, if you can confirm those are fine and then there's two things you may want to check first thing is security group you want to make sure your EC2 instance which I'm using has right security group rules which is allowing port 80 and 443 those two ports has to be allowed make sure your virtual machines firewall has these two lures also since I'm using Ubuntu uh, Linux version by default the firewall is not activated so I don't need to make any change if you enabled the firewall on your Linux machine you may want to add those two lures into your local firewall as well that's the one thing you have to keep in mind firewall has to be open second thing is you need to have this DNS record to be point to your virtual machines public IP which I did already on that I created a record and pointing to the virtual machines public IP so those two steps done else you will get some failure message when you do SS certificate application and the sign for that so once you did those two steps then you can bring your dockers up using docker compose file command we cannot go to our configuration file folder we can bring our docker up using our docker compose file as you can see we have a configuration wrong in here so we're gonna make that changes that is because during our copy paste I missed a couple of lines here so we're gonna add those lines in and save it just to make sure take a look again now seems correct now we can bring the dockers up now you can see the creating network creating volume so there are two volumes gonna be created one is for let's encrypt for your search and then another one is for next cloud they are pulling all images from the cloud it will take probably less than two minutes then those three dockers will be come up it's faster probably less than one minute now it's up you can verify those three dockers you can see we are mapping our nginx docker to public uh, port 80 and 443 so once dockers are up you confirm that now we should be able to go back to our browser to browse into those next cloud 51 sec.org so that's exactly 
the page we are looking for. So you need to create an admin account, username and password in. And here is the settings we need to pay attention to. So there's a storage and database. By default, we are using SQLite. So since we didn't set up any MySQL, MariaDB into our Docker Compose file, so we're going to use in SQLite. So of course, if we are using SQLite, there's a performance warning here. But um, that's what we're trying to do today. We make it simple. We don't use uh, MySQL MariaDB. In, in my next video, we're going to use in that option. I'm going to show you how to set up uh, with uh, MySQL Docker as well. So I'm going to uncheck Install Recommended Apps. We don't need that for this demonstration. So we logged in. Uh, it just take um, probably a couple of seconds to get the dashboard shows up. We can quickly browse it to confirm everything works as expected. You can see the built-in photos and we can see the built-in videos as well. Those already been by default is already included as a next cloud picture for all employees. Beautiful. And uh, one thing I want to talk about is in the settings. If you go to administration overview here, so you can see there's some warning message. The first one we already got that SQL light being used. There's a um, warning for that. It's okay if we change it to MS SQL, I change it to my SQL or MariaDB, like this warning gonna be go away. But here it looks like uh, we are missing index for uh, this table. We're gonna fix that by entering two commands as well. We gonna go back to our SSH session. So I'm gonna run two commands here to rebuild the line index and remove those warning message from our administration tab. So those are running well. Uh, don't worry about those commands I'm going to put into my post. You will find the link in my video description and you will find all commands from there. So we're going to go back here, refresh this page. So right now we only have this SQLite warning message. You can see the HTTPS has been signed as a lock sign on a URL. So that means certificate has been applied into this URL well. Thank you for watching this video.